Ryzen chip is going to be overclockable. So as long as you have a motherboard that supports it, you're going to be good to go right out of the box. As you can hear from the incredibly loud music behind me, we've got something just a little bit over the top in mind. So AMD brought a team of professional overclockers to see exactly how far they could push Ryzen 7. So right now, they have got it over 5.1 gigahertz on all eight cores. And of course, that's with the help of a little bit of liquid nitrogen and a whole lot of voltage. But it just goes to show that if you do want to push Ryzen, there's definitely a lot of headroom there. There you go. 5.14 gigahertz. So right now they are three points away from my world record in Cinebench. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> Ryzen 7 will be available for pre-order starting today and will be on sale March 1st. So you get three different options. There's Ryzen 7 1700, which will cost you 330. There's 1700X, which will cost you 400. And there's 1800X, which will cost you 500. Now, even though there's a big price difference, they're all eight core and they're all essentially the same. The biggest difference is the clock speed and how high you can overclock. On top of Ryzen 7, which is exciting on the high end, if the leaks and rumors are to be believed, then there might be some lower end options coming soon. So definitely be sure to let me know what you guys think about Ryzen in the comments below and stay tuned. There may be a couple PC builds coming soon.